guys so for today's video we are going to review the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation they finally came out with a foundation you guys I am so excited I have been waiting for this day it's kind of like you know when you're pregnant and you're waiting for a baby to be born I have been waiting for this day for the longest time not really nine months but for years I have been waiting for this day and they have formulated a foundation that is luminous natural finish and medium coverage I mean that's my language right there that's that's those are the things that I look for whenever I'm looking for a foundation I'm looking for those things luminous medium coverage and natural finish I mean it can't get any better than that so if you guys want to know what I think of this foundation and watch me apply it onto my skin and watch me achieve this look right here, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so let's start with the prepping of the skin. Now it is good to keep in mind that how you prep your skin and what products you use can alter the results of the foundation. So what I'm going to do is just simply apply my daily moisturizer. I'm not going to do the sunscreen or anything like that because I do want to see the true kind of nature of the foundation and the color payoff and all that. So I do need to hydrate my skin because I have dry skin. So I'm going to go in with the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, the Anti-Wrinkle Day Cream. This is what I've been using and so far so good. I'm loving it, but we're not here to talk about this. I'm going to do a whole separate video on these products. Today it's going to be all about um, the new Anastasia foundation. So I'm just going to go right ahead and take a little bit of this and just apply it to my face. So I am going to go right ahead and just do my eyes real quick off camera because the only thing that I want to focus on is the foundation and I usually do my eyes before foundation. So yeah, I will be right back. Alright you guys, so I just did my makeup or at least my eye makeup and I used of course the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette and I'm gonna try and use as much Anastasia products for today's look as possible so here's the foundation you guys this is the packaging it's very beautiful it has a silver package and right here I love this I love that font I love how bold that is it says foundation right there and it also says that on the bottle let's see what this foundation promises so it's vegan that's awesome gluten free alcohol free it's clinically tested dermatologist tested ophthalmologist tested it's non comedogenic I have no idea what that means but we will look it up suitable for sensitive skin it's long wearing and no flashback it's also a medium coverage foundation with a luminous natural finish and you guys know that I am all about that medium coverage foundation is my thing and I love luminosity so let's go right ahead and take it out of the packaging and ta -da! isn't it gorgeous I am so excited you guys I love Anastasia Beverly Hills I've been following her for years using her products for years I own a lot of her single shadows a lot of her palettes collabs a lot of her liquid lipsticks glosses a whole bunch of stuff I own from her and I absolutely love the products I was so excited when I heard that she was coming out with a foundation I thought finally finally now I did use the system that they have online to kind of pick out my shade um, so I picked light medium because even though you know it's summertime I haven't really been tanning or anything like that so I'm sticking to the color that I normally am you know during the winter time so I am neutral I'm not too warm and I'm not too cool I'm kind of right in the middle so I chose 240N and let's just see how this color goes with um, my skin tone now I am going to apply this how I would apply any other foundation with my beauty blender but this time it's gonna be damp I will put you guys on when I use it with the dry beauty blender because I do normally use it dry but for today I wanted to use it damp because that's how 
most people use it so let's get right into the video you guys now I'm just gonna take it has a little pump so I'm gonna take some and put it right on my palm here um, let's go with a decent amount I did like four pumps so let's go right ahead and see how this I think I think I did pretty good with the shade what do you guys think Ooh, I'm liking that all right let's do the other side here's the side comparison I can still see my little freckles which I don't mind because again I don't really like to cover up too much my imperfections I kind of like to see them I love my little freckles, in other words. Okay. I'm really liking this, you guys. Now, again, I did just the basics in prepping my skin for this. All I did was apply my moisturizer. Usually, if I'm going out during the day, I do apply SPF. And I use this one, the Cetaphil SPF. Um, 50 which it does have a little bit of flashback but since this foundation claims to not have any flashback I wanted to test that theory out so I didn't want to give it you know a chance to have flashback by me wearing that SPF it is drying down pretty quickly which is good so let's apply a little bit on my I did do my eyebrows beforehand, which I usually don't do. <laughs> I usually do my eyebrows afterwards, but I just look kind of crazy. I'm um, getting ready to film this video without my eyebrows, like full glam on the eyes and then no eyebrows and no face either. So I was like, you know what? Let me just do my eyebrows. Now the foundation is too light or it might seem too light right now. That's okay because we are gonna bronze out the skin later and everything would just come together. Alrighty then, let's bring you guys close in so that you guys can see what it looks like. There you go. Excuse my hair, I took a shower and I started filming right away, so my hair is kind of air drying right now. But anyways, moving on. Just keep patting that into the skin. Well, you see a glow which I love yay guys I'm so excited and moving on um, Anastasia does not have a concealer out yet so I'm going to use my go-to concealer which is this one the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer and this is in the shade 365 which is cashew and I'm just gonna apply just a little bit I've noticed that a little bit goes a long way you guys really I think I am over that phase of doing the whole V here you know because it does sink in more into my lines and I don't want y'all to see my lines so I mean why so let's go right in and just blend this out real quick Perfect. Okay, so far so good, guys. Awesome. Loving it. Now, another product that I ordered that was recently launched is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Setting Powder. And I got it in the shade Banana. Let me tell you guys, this is a pretty big package. You're getting a lot of product for your buck, which is an A-plus in my books. I absolutely love an affordable product that comes in a large package so this is what it looks like it has a regular sifter which looks like that and I'm just gonna remove this plastic and I am going to set my under eyes with this I'll just pour some right here into my little plate it's just easier for me and with my beauty blender I'm going to first of all 
go over it again just to make sure that it's blended out perfectly and then I'm just gonna dip the very tip of the beauty blender like that I'm going to apply that directly to my under eye sinking it into the skin right away not letting it bake and I'm gonna bring it down to my lines because this is just what I do I wanted to do what I do with every single foundation with this foundation and just see how it works see how it wears throughout the day now once again under this eye and I'm going to apply a little bit on my forehead just to cover up those lines that I have there all right you guys so this is what the foundation looks like after I have set it with powder on the places that I usually set Again, I'm trying to stick to my regular routine. Now let's move on to bronzing. Let's see how this foundation works with powder as I try and bronze my face and highlight my face and apply blush and all that good stuff. So I am going to bronze my face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in Rich Amber. I am going to pick up my trusty contour brush that I have been using. It's the Smith Cosmetics 112 brush. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to dip into this product and apply it to the hollows of my cheek. How does that look, you guys? I think it looks amazing. The foundation is not moving anywhere. I still have that medium coverage there. Ooh, now let's do the other side. Let's get the hair out of the way, damn it. The foundation has not budged. That is a very good quality in a foundation. Now, let's apply some of that bronzer onto our forehead, which is very typical of me. Ice cream truck is messing up my flow. A few moments later. Back to filming. Okay, so now I have the ABH loose highlighter in So Hollywood. And we are going to highlight the sh out of this face. I mean, look at this. Already, I have this like natural highlight on my face. I haven't put anything on my face, but it looks like I have this natural glow to my skin, which is something that I look for in all of my foundations. I want my face to look as though it's glowing from within. Now with my Morphe M510 brush, I am picking up some of this highlighter product. I am going to tap off the excess and go right ahead and highlight the out of this face. Gazam! Love it! Alright, now the next cheek hair out of the way. Now, I don't have an Anastasia Beverly Hills blush, so I am going to go in with my beautiful Charlotte Tilbury palette, the Glowgasm palette. It has a very beautiful peachy, glowy blush that I have been using a lot lately. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna dip right into that and I am going to use the same Morphe M510 brush and just dip into this beauty right here, the lightest one. There is a deeper peach one, but I like the lightest one more. And we are just going to smile and apply the blush directly onto the apples of my cheeks just very lightly the same routine all right you guys so this base has not moved anywhere at all i am loving it so far the biggest test though is the wear out throughout the day and I will be checking in with you guys every once in a while so you guys can see what the foundation is looking like. So I'm going to go right ahead and finish my makeup, finish my under eye and apply my lipstick and I will be right 
back. All right, you guys, so I'm done with the eyes and I have applied my lipstick. What do you guys think about this very colorful look? I like it, but most of all, I am loving this foundation. It's been probably 15, 20 minutes since I have applied it, which is more than enough time for it to dry down and you can kind of see what the foundation is going to look like on your skin. And Guys, so far so good. It's again not sinking into my lines, which I love. That's definitely uh, a plus in my books. The powder, the setting powder, the banana one, it set my under eye perfectly, the forehead as well, and then my side lines as well. My side smiles, my smile lines. There you go, that's what it is. I forgot, you know, sometimes my mind draws a blank, and especially when you're in front of a camera, you're just like, I know this, I'm good, and then when you press record, your mind just goes blank. It happens to me all the time. So this foundation promised a medium coverage, luminous, natural finish, and it's definitely done that. It's gonna love in my skin, Anastasia, Norvina, you guys did an awesome job with this foundation. Finally came out with a foundation. I have been waiting for this day for the longest time, for years now, you know, because I just love Anastasia Beverly Hills. These products are amazing. I highly, highly recommend them. The eyeshadow palette, as you can see right here, I am wearing the Riviera palette. All of the colors that I use are from the Riviera palette. If you guys like this look, I want to see a video of me doing it, then let me know down in the comments below. I will be checking in with you guys and showing you how the foundation is wearing throughout the day we are gonna go out we're gonna go to my mom's house and we're gonna go have dinner so you know I'm really gonna test this bitch out let's do one more thing before I close out this video let's set with the Anastasia Dewey set setting spray I just don't feel complete without doing this so let's get into it And I am going to go right ahead and do what I always do with every single foundation. I am going to pat it over my fine line. Except for my under eye. I don't do that there. I feel like when you set it, the powders and the foundation and everything just kind of meshes together and it makes it look even more natural than it did before. Highly recommend this foundation. I will be checking in every once in a while. All right guys, just checking in. It is currently 11.23 and I put on my makeup around six o'clock, so it's been four plus hours since I applied this foundation on. And you guys can see, I took my lashes off, my lipstick is off because I was eating. Um, yeah, so the foundation looks pretty good. I do see my lines a little bit defined, but that's okay. That's nothing. A uh, good old pat with a sponge or a brush can't fix. And that's about it. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and see you guys next time for my next video. Bye.